In today's tangled web of modern politics, the heart of the matter lies in authenticity, consistency, and trust. These are the pillars that should hold up our faith in government, yet they seem to crumble under the weight of contradictions. The public, growing ever more disillusioned, senses the widening gap between political rhetoric and reality, deepening the chasm of alienation and division within society. I'm picturing um, over the weekend, uh, Vice President uh, said uh, she would, uh, she followed uh, former President Donald Trump and say she would uh, support a proposal that was uh, not tax uh, and tipped wages. It was such a it was similar bill made its way to the President of the United States, President Biden, would he sign the proposal? That's not that's the main yeah. Uh, absolutely. Look, this is something that the president supports. Uh, he supports eliminating taxes on tips uh, for service and hospitality workers by also raising minimum wage and preventing uh, the wealthy from from gaining the system. And if you think about what the president has talked about the last three and a half years, making sure that we have an economy that works for all, not leaving anybody behind, an economy that's built from the bottom up, middle out, uh, the president has been fighting and the vice president is fighting uh, to do just that. Think about raising the minimum wage, which which the Trump administration, they blocked, cut taxes for workers and families after Trump gave a two trillion dollar tax cut skewed to billionaires and big corporations, defend overtime protections for millionaires, millions of workers whom the Trump administration left behind, ensure workers have the freedom to join a union which the Trump administration undermined. You hear it talk, talk about maganomics and what the GOP is for, therefore uh, giving tax breaks from billionaires and uh, corporation. Uh, they want price gouging. That's what they want to see. They, they don't want to protect um, uh, protect American workers. They give, again, more tax uh, to billionaires and corporations. That's what they've been talking about over and over and over, raising taxing taxes for working people. That's not what we're about, and we're going to continue to do just that in the next five months. Take, for instance, the administration's mixed messages. On one hand, there's talk of abolishing taxes on tips, a move that seems to champion the working class. Yet on the other, there's a push for stronger IRS enforcement, even on small incomes like tips, creating a stark contrast that leaves many scratching their heads. How can a government claim to support the backbone of its economy, the working class, while simultaneously tightening the noose around their financial necks? This inconsistency not only appears dishonest, but also breeds it a growing distrust especially among those who feel their livelihoods are being unfairly targeted. Authenticity and freedom are more than just buzzwords. They are the lifeblood of a government that claims to be for the people, by the people. When actions betray these ideals, the very soul of governance is called into question. The dialogue between reporters and the administration's spokesperson, Karine Jean-Pierre, feels less like an honest exchange and more like a strategic maneuver to control the narrative. The government's efforts to cater to various demographic groups, particularly the working class, by promoting policies like raising the minimum wage, come off as hollow when juxtaposed against actions that seem to undermine these very promises. Cognitive dissonance, a term that feels all too fitting, captures the unease the public experiences when the administration's words and deeds fail to align. It's a discomfort that pushes people further into their ideological corners, fueling the fires of political polarization. Supporters might hail these actions as steps towards economic fairness. But for many, the mixed signals only deepen the fear that their economic freedom is slipping through their fingers. In the end, it's the erosion of trust that looms largest. If the government cannot be consistent, if it cannot be authentic, then how can it ever hope to heal the divisions that threaten to tear society apart. The stakes are high, and the consequences of these contradictions are all too real.